Hello there, and welcome to our Andor review. Our first Andor review with your newly broke laptop. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's not broke, it's just... What, what, what it actually is happening is the screen, like, coming untached from the... the One of the hinges on the left side is, like, breaking. Oh. And my charger's fucked up, and my laptop overheats a lot, and I have, like, $100 to my name. So, if we stop making videos, it's because Naomi's computer doesn't exist anymore. Just kidding, we can make videos on mine. But... <laughs> it's, also, it's not... It's not gonna just... It's not gonna brick. I know, I know. I'm just fucking around. Not yet. Yes. We know I have to get a job anyway to pay you back, because I owe you so much fucking money. <laughs> but speaking... Of let, money. Let's, speaking of... No, no longer talking about ugly things, like broken things. Let's talk about beautiful things. <laughs> the Eye. Episode 6... Of Andor. See, I was going to do the segue of, uh, speaking of money, by the way, let's move on to the heist. Yeah, that, that would have been a good one, too. And then you cut me off. <laughs> Classic misogynist. Woohoo! <laughs> That's Naomi. I'm Tyler. Jedi Holocron, Sith Holocron. I said it in a weird way, you don't know who is who. But. Women are evil, so. I, I, I pointed, and I, like, you can't see the point. Us, uh, you know, us, us. Us, uh, as as a lot of as a lot of people online say, females uh, are the evil ones. So clearly, I'm the Sith. <laughs> Makes sense. Checks out. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. So, what did you think of the eye? Amazing. The, Gorgeous. The the heist paid off. The tension building paid off. Beautiful. I, I'm not gonna lie. I think. Like, visually, the eye is one of my favorite things in Star Wars. Yeah. It was so pretty. It was... Especially when they got up in there. Oh, God. It was really awesome. Yeah. Why don't we have anything like that? I know. Like, all we have is, like, a solar or lunar eclipse or whatever. Like, I want an eye. Like, we're just like, what? What? Do you, what is the eye? Is that just a bunch of, like, shooting stars or... They said it was, like... I'm pretty sure they said it was... It's, like, um... Like, a field of, like, debris that's in the planet's rotation... Mm. So when it goes through, it, like, lights up. That's really cool. Because it's, like, a bunch of, like, minerals or whatever. That's I think cool. that's what they said it was. Something like that. Uh, it was a few weeks ago. I don't remember. Yeah, whatever it is, it's dope. Whatever it is, I approve. Approve this message. I approve this message. I'm kind of sad, though. <laughs> My favorite heist member died. Yeah. What was his name again? Nemec. Nemec. I'm like, okay, we got out fairly good. Only a few people died. And then the fucking thing flew back. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. That's such Man, like a just... fucking, like, unexpected and like some uh, kind of brutal way to go. Just shattering all of your bones. Yeah. <laughs> like broke his spine. Right. He would have been, if he lived, he would have probably been paralyzed. But like, Oh, yeah. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. <laughs> And at the end, pretty much none of them made it. Just the two women and Andor. Yeah. <laughs> the the waif, Andor, and Cinta. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did you say Andor? Ander. Ander, there yes, we go. Yeah, Ander. Yeah. Only those three made it out. Yeah. I mean, we knew a bunch of people were going to die. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, okay, this turned out good. And then I'm like, I'm not surprised... That the guy who was Skeen. Like, the, the Skeen was the one who was like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." It would have been interesting if like Andor didn't kill him and how that would have played out. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure if Andor didn't do that, Andor wouldn't have walked away. No, yeah, he would have died. Yeah, because it's also like even if you take his deal and you go to this isolated moon, just you and him, he's gonna kill you. Yeah, and take the full eighty. Yeah, yeah, nothing gained from that. He has nothing to gain from letting Andor live. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, a logical choice on Andor's part. Mm -hmm. But hard to explain. <laughs> Very Later. hard to explain. Damn. And it's wild to think that that's the reason why Skeen wanted them to go to the do doctor. Oh, yeah. So that they could abandon them. Yeah, that's fucked. He didn't give a shit. Yeah. I knew there'd be one... Who was, like, the shady one. Who would try to, like, yeah. not fuck up the mission, but, like... I thought it would be fuck up the mission to be a secretly Empire. 
But no, he he was just greedy. Yeah, he was just money he hungry. Just to, he was just out for himself. I mean, eighty million credits. That's a lot. That's a lot of credits. Yeah, what are you gonna do with that many credits? He could physical make, credits. He could make his own militia. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, get the um, deny. Was that the people? The Donny. The Donny. I. They looked like they they'd be good fighters. Yeah. Yeah. They're good singers, so they're good fighters. You know? <laughs> Is that how that works? Yeah, in like tribes like that and stuff, you know? Okay. They fight and they celebrate their victories, you know? <laughs> no, they said they were relatively peaceful people. And yeah, also because the they're Empire... peaceful, but I'm sure if they had to fight, they could. And the Empire was just like, yeah, they're all stupid <laughs> in the beginning of the episode. Yeah. Now, they're smart. They When, when they, they took that wall and burned it immediately, they know you no good. Yeah. Yeah. It's so the 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 dynamic between them and like the Empire and the planet's very interesting. Yeah, it's a weird dynamic. It's a weird dynamic. I'm surprised they didn't just kill them all. Yeah. Almost kind of like a, a surprisingly um like you know, it's the Empire. They love genocide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they do it? <laughs> Wild. I really did enjoy the cuts between like the tension and then just saying yeah. them just <laughs> Absolutely having a grand time. Yeah. They knew how to get down for a party. They did. Burning wool. 1,000%. Yeah. They got down. The thing is interesting. The heist was very tense. It was. I it, was so nervous. Like the, I knew Ander was going to survive, obviously. Yeah. But I was so terrified. All right. It's just because early on the waif was like having doubts. She was nervous. I think she, she was scared of heights. Yeah. And then combined with the worry of the mission. Yeah. Almost blew it. Yeah, almost blew it. Almost wasted all their time. Yeah. Every Everything that went wrong in this mission is her fault. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you know... Not too not, much. No, not too much actually went wrong. Yeah, only like the, the four guys. The only thing that went wrong that was her fault was... The guy, for some reason, which really wasn't her fault. Like the guy that died going out to get her, which was not probably the best decision on his part. Yeah, but also, you know what? They were running out of time. Yeah, you got to make a run for the ship. Yeah. No, but he ran out of the ship trying to protect no, her. No, he was away from the ship. Yeah, but he was trying to get her. Yeah, he was trying to get her, but also he was farther from the ship than she was. Oh, he was. Okay. She was right in front of the ship. Oh, I didn't realize he was farther away. He okay. was farther away, like off in the corner. And she was pinned down, so he was going to go and help her, and then they'd both be close to the ship, but he got blitzed before he got there. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> I like when they got down there and just started just screaming at everyone. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck down! Get down! <laughs> Did we... Have we seen the Commandant before this episode? Who's the Commandant? The fat guy. No. He, he looks vaguely familiar, though. I don't remember if we've seen him or not, but it was just... <laughs> it worked him into a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. He's like, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm done. The stress. Uh, see, see, the belt not fitting was foreshadowing. Oh, it was foreshadowing oh, his a bad heart. clogged arteries. <laughs> I mean, I think if anything, his body shape was uh, foreshadowing that. Yeah. It's kind of a shame that the one guy died. The guy, like, the master... Not the mastermind, but the inside man. Yeah, the Imperial. Yeah, because Nemec was the mastermind, let's be fair. Yeah, Nemec was the... Nemec was the... the yeah. yeah. See, my two... At least, at least I'm one for two on my top picks to survive. Nemec and Sinta. Those are my two faves. Yeah, we, had, we had the women survive. Yeah. I would have been sad if the waif died, but... Women moment. Why did I... What's her name? I keep calling her the waif. Uh, Vel. Vel. But I, she's just the waif from Game of Thrones. To me. <laughs> yeah, Val. Yeah. Their underwater entrance was pretty badass, though. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That machine was cool. They're like Whoa. their little one-handed submarine. Yeah. Or not even a submarine, just like a propulsion. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty rad. So here's the real question: the only true question I have about this episode. But it's interesting was Andor, like comparing Andor to Game of Thrones. It's so much interesting how much like more theorizing there is for Game of Thrones. <laughs> so, even though we that's like we can look up books and shit, but like I'm not sure where we go from here. Yeah, I have no idea. 
because I feel like we're like we're not gonna abandon fully the art guy. What's his name? Luthen. Luthen. Yeah. Like, but Andor is clearly going off on its own. Mm-hmm. I think he might go back to. What's the planet called? Um, the the first one. Yeah. Oh uh, fuck. It's I don't remember. It's Aldania. <laughs> um. We but, know. He, but that planet. We know he wants to find his sister. That true. I think that's what he's doing. But I feel like Luthen's gonna come back, calling. I mean, yeah, eventually, yeah. But I think Andor is. Do both. you think we'll fully get that? Like the rest of the season's gonna be like. He goes back to. What I don't remember the name of the planet. Gets Bix. Or Biv, I don't remember her name. Whatever it was, and, and the other guy. Yeah, and I don't think the buddy's gonna come. With yeah, him. but but like I would like it, and like get some people from there, and then the go try to find his sister, and then he gets wrapped back in with um, Colonel Goody Two Shoe wannabe mall cop man. <laughs> yeah, probably because we didn't see him this episode, which was good. We didn't need to see it. Yeah, like it's interesting because like I'm liking the pace of like the slower pace. And, like, we still have six episodes left. It's just interesting because there's so many, like, threads they can go down. Like, because yeah. we still got what, the Mon Mothma of it all. Yeah. And, like, the Luthan of it all. And then, like, I want to see Bix again or Biv or whatever her name is. <laughs> like. Yeah. I feel like I feel like he's definitely, we're going to have at least, like, an episode of him, like, probably going back to that planet and, like, working on finding his sister. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe Luthen like has a lead to help him find the sister. She has to do <laughs> one more job. One more. That's just how it keeps happening. One more. Because what is going to be the thing that gets him fully in the rebellion? You, I feel like at the end of the season he'll be like in the rebellion. Yeah. Like, and then the next because we know the next season takes place over three years. Mm-hmm. So like each year, like each, like each they said each set of four episodes will cover like a year. Mm. So. Yeah, I feel like. Like, I feel like at least partially it'll be Nemec that gets him in, because he got the manifesto. Yeah. I feel like he's going to read it and maybe get a little radicalized. Maybe he'll radicalize that planet he was on, even though they were already pretty anti-Empire, but like... Which planet? His home planet. Oh, the... Oh, yeah, yeah we gotta go back and see his mom, too, and like, no more about... I want... See, I, yeah, I... That, you're, you're right, they're gonna finish, like, the sister storyline and like... Which I really actually want. And then he's gonna get called on. Or yeah. he's gonna have to go to Luthen for help or something. Yeah, it'll reconnect like yeah. the two plot lines. It's interesting because there's so many. Look, taking a step back, there's so many more players in this than I thought there were. We got Luthen, we got Mom Othma, we got Ander, we got Bix, we got Murtakop, piece of shit nerd guy. <laughs> we got the em- like the Empire Lady. They focused on her a lot. Yeah, we got fucking. Yeah, I think there's more Empire but... Lady. Um. His mom. His mom. And, like, that shit. So, yeah, there's a lot yeah. going on. A lot going on in there. And then what's your name? Still live, Vel. Yeah. Like, whatever Like whatever happens between Vel and Luthen when he returns the thing to her. And, uh, and what's the other girl's name? Cinti? Cinta. Cinta. Honestly, we, I bet we don't see Cinta again. No, probably not. I don't think we'll see Cinta again. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Vel again. No, I will see her talk to Luthen, probably. Yeah. That conversation about, like, where's Ander? I wonder where... Or maybe, like, we'll see, like, Cinta in Season 2, like, when they Andor is on another mission. Like, yeah. Like, we'll see her in, like, the Rebellion there. He'll be, like, on another mission with Vel and Cinta. Yeah. <laughs> Negative, uh, bad, bad blood there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Cinta will be part of his crew. <laughs> and, like, his little... That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. But God, just the fucking ship flying through the sky. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was so surprised, like, when it first took off into the sky, and then you have the immediate just Nebuch getting slammed, and then, like, just the gorgeous eye. Yeah. And I was still so focused on Nebuch. Right, no, like, and then it's like... He then either like because like he's the one who knows where to go. I don't think other people know where to go. And then he's like, "Go up, go what the fuck?" And then it's great though, just seeing the, the tie fighters get destroyed by it too. <laughs> if I, I it would be funny if one of the tie fighters like 
They're gonna die up there. And they just fucking turn around. I feel like we almost see more TIE fighters die from, like, debris and shit than from being shot down. Because they're bad at their job. Well, it's because TIE fighters are shitty. True. Like, TIE fighters are awful. Yeah. They don't have shields (laughs) at all. Which, to be fair, the transport they were on didn't have shields. But normally, the rebel ships have shields. Um, Like, TIE fighters don't have shields. They're really frail and, like, shitty. They're only, like, barely a step up from Stormtrooper, to be honest. They're, like, flying Stormtroopers. Yeah, and the only, like, good thing that a TIE fighter has is that it's really fucking fast. Yeah. That's the only thing that TIE fighters have. Yeah. Like, because I feel like every time there's, like, a chase with TIE Fighters, we see so many of them get destroyed just by, like, the environment. Right. (laughs) Insane. Fucking good episode, though. Yeah. I don't know why I feel like this show's harder to talk about than, than, like, Game of Thrones. Well, it's because there's not as much, like, theorizing. Yeah. And it's a lot slower paced, so it's, like... Yeah. Like, it's a lot of, like, character moments and stuff. I really liked the... The planning of Nemec of, like... I didn't really think about it, because I don't think they talked about it. Maybe they I just missed it when they were, like, talking about the plan. But I like this, like... They got the people just chilling there to load the thing up. I'm like, how are they going to load all this up? <laughs> and they're just like, fucking load it up! Yeah. See, do you know, I would have done if I was one of them. I would have shot one of, like... When the guy fumbled or, like, knocked it over, like, whatever, like... Or to get him going faster, I would have shot one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I like how it was like, anyone who doesn't feel like working hard, raise your hand. <laughs> I'll just kill you right now. That would have been funny if someone raised their hand. And he... I mean, that was obviously what he would have done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been funny, though. Yeah, of course, Skeen was the one to... Oh, you, you... I just knew he'd be the shady one, just based on, like, what stuff that actor's played before. Like, he plays that kind of, like... Oh, He I plays mean, those type of characters. I mean, I figured it when he pulled a knife on Cassian in the previous episode. Yeah. <laughs> I figured from that point. I almost feel like them mentioning that the, um, what's his name? Um, the guy who ran towards Vel and got shot. Mm-hmm. I feel like them mentioning that he was a stormtrooper was trying to, like, make it seem like he would have been, like, a leak or something. Yeah. And then in, the, like, the pre thing, they they replayed Nemec's line of, you don't gotta worry about above, you gotta worry about below, which is more like from your own. Yeah. Crew. Yeah. Wild. They all died, except for. The three. Cinta. Our Her. taken queen. She had the easy job. She just walked out. Yeah. Also, she had a great hero moment of saving Nemec before he got crushed. She dropped down and shot the guy. Cinta? Yeah. Cinta was in the control tower. No. When they first got in there. Oh, when they first got in there. They killed right. the other imperial guy. She dropped down and shot the guy. Yeah. The guy who just wanted the child to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> By pointing a gun at another child. Yeah. <laughs> well, young adult. Another child with a gun, to be fair. To be fair, that child, we see what he does in Westeros. He's got a handle on himself. Uh, that's 100% the same kid. Which one? The the kid of the fat guy. Okay. I, is I, definitely the kid who was trying to get Rhaenyra's hand in episode two. And there's like... The power the, of the God, power of God, God anime. Anime. Honestly, I'm going to look it up right now. Because I just feel that to be true. He looked so similar. If so, that kid, having a big month. <laughs> you know? Having a huge month. How are you even going to find this person that you're thinking of? Uh, I go to IMDB. I go to the episode. And then I find them in the cast. You scroll. I scroll through the cast. And then I click on... Well, I see them, I click on them, and I see their other works. He's not even credited, so never mind. I can't do this. <laughs> There's only 14 people credited for this episode. I was gonna say, it's not like he was, like, a big, important I don't know. player. But it only has, like, every random person. Yeah. yeah. But best episode of the show so far, too. Well, yeah. Honestly, one of the better episodes of a Star Wars show in a while. Yeah. I feel like, uh... Since they're doing this, uh, in, like, a setup of, like... I know you hate this word. They're doing it in, like, arcs. Like, three episode, three episode. This is not anime. No, but they're doing it in, like, like contained yeah. story arcs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, one at well, a time. Yeah, they're doing it, yeah. So we have, like, the two episodes of build-up and then the big payoff, and then... Or three episodes of build-up, then a big payoff, and... No, two is two, payoff, two, payoff. Oh, was it only two? Yeah, yeah because the third... Because they did the three at once, and then it built to the... Right, right, right. To the... Yeah. Escape. Yeah, they'll probably do that again, yeah. Yeah. So, like... We know every th- every three is gonna be a banger. A banger. Because it's gonna be the the 
the big moment. Yeah. The 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 climax. If and you the will. big moments don't pay off if we don't have those in between arcs. So. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna sell it to the audience out there, the people. Yeah, I mean, if you think you can just do bangers with no build up at all, uh, yeah, it won't be as good. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm excited because I wouldn't have cared if Nemec died if we didn't have the previous build up. Yeah. Made us care. Made us care deep down in our bones. And he was a communist king. <laughs> and when I hear the word manifesto, I just assume it's a communist. Yeah. I'm interested to see. I hope Cass- Cassian reads it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he will. It's for Nemec. I like how Nemec insisted that it go to Cassian. Because he's like, I can radicalize this one. Yeah. He's like, he's the most like me. Yeah. I can get to him. Yeah. Especially post-mortem. Yeah. Ah, what a good episode. Do you have any more to say? I think I've said my piece for this episode. Um, are Val and Cinta lesbians? I don't know. I'm, I see women together and, like, concerned. <laughs> You're just, like, women together? No, I see women who are, like, who she was, like, concerned for Cinta, and immediately my, my gay brain goes... There was that one moment. My, my gay brain just goes lesbian moment. Yeah. Even though I know uh, women can be friends, but yeah. I don't know. In my head, I just immediately am like lesbian. There's only that one moment that showed they love each other, mm-hmm. as like but I don't know what that love is. And they did say is it a romantic love? Is it a friendship love? Is it? And they did say Cinto was taken. Yeah. When Andor was eyeing her, and Skeen was like, "She's already with someone else." Yeah. So we know she's with someone. I'm gonna say she's gay. I mean, but there's one problem with that. Hmm. If she was gay, we know in fiction she would have died in the thing. So no, that's a, they were trying to they were <laughs> subverting expectations. Yeah, they were subverting the stereotype. I'm know? down for it, though. They both survived. Exactly. I just was sent to be happy. You know, I don't matter. Yeah. I I am definitely. I, honestly, though, I wish. I feel I if it is, I hope they explore that. Instead of just being like, oh, that's what that was. I mean, it, it, even if it is, even if that's all we get, I'm glad Disney didn't brag about it then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am go- I will just say that in my brain forever, they are uh, together. You want me to see what Twitter thinks real quick? I'll they t- absolutely think they're gay, 100%. I'll type in Cinta and Val. Oh, Twitter is even more intense than I am. Cinta, about ass- Val. <laughs> Twitter's more intense than I am about assuming every pair of same-sex people is a couple. First tweet I see, ready? Well, this is from last week. Okay. Skeen telling Cassian that Cinta is already sharing a blanket and cutting to a scene of Cinta and Vel. That's from last week. I'm telling you, man. Uh... Yeah, I think, I, I honestly, I think that's r- real. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, I feel like uh, queer people do that a lot, where it's like, oh, that person's gay. But I feel like it, you know... <laughs> It's a response to how a lot of people do that with heterosexual couples, like shipping culture. Yeah. Like anytime a man and a woman share a room to, or like are in the same six feet as each other, the internet is like, oh, they're together. So I feel like queer people do the same thing. Yeah. We truly are all just people is what I'm saying, I guess. I'm just trying to fill the dead air while you're reading. No, yeah. Twitter likes it. Of course, Twitter, I'm telling, Twitter will think any character is gay for any reason. Yeah. I'm not quite that intense level, uh, but I'm definitely partially there. Yeah. Of just wanting everyone to be gay. I'm here for it. I'm more like that with transness, honestly. <laughs> I see someone who's like relatable trans qualities, I'm like, oh, they're trans now. In my head, they're trans, 100%. <laughs> You, you're going to start doing trans investigations? No, but mine's like in a positive meaning. Okay. Cause I mean it oh, yeah, trans investigations are negative most of the time. Yeah, trans investigations are from transphobic people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it in a positive way of like, oh, I like that for you. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I just want people I relate to, you know? Yeah. What, what's the stormtrooper's name from the 501st? The trans one? From the oh, um, the clone trooper, you mean? Yeah. The sister. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we know Anakin's an ally. 
an Omega. And he almost, he, he pretty much coined the term transgender in the Star Wars universe. That's so great. I love that He form. called it, uh, what was it? He was like, why would the Jedi have a problem with someone who's transcended gender or something like that? Anakin based. Look at Anakin him. Anakin based. I'm telling you, Anakin's kind of based before he killed children. Yeah. That was Vader that did that. True, true, true. <laughs> Anakin, based. Base king. Based king. Tragic king. Tra- honestly, yes. Some would say the mad king. I disagree. Well, he... Oh, well, mad, that, well, yeah, never mind. You mean mad insanity or mad, like, as in Angie? As in, like, he was good and then he went mad and lost and became Vader. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. You know, Matt is more not like... Not as much wildfire, though. Just normal fire. Yeah, but Matt is more, <laughs> like, insane yeah. than it is, like, Angie. And I feel like Vader wasn't insane. He was just evil. Yeah, that's fair. Different things, you know? Angie, Angie. Angie boy. But yeah, tell us what y'all thought. Of the heist. Of, of the, the heist. Eye. Of the eye. Of the, the build-up and the finale of this three episode arc tell us how beautiful the eye was yes i loved it so much and of all of the many beautiful things in star wars where does the eye sit for you commenters that we totally get it's 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 definitely top five top ten for me yeah it's like beautiful like imagery yeah in star wars yeah for sure but yeah like subscribe share comment below and then in, in the comments let us know Val and Cinta. we ship them. I do. I mean, we do, but do the you. Let us know. And until next time, Ander.